Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. So from today we are going to start on data structure tutorials. As you know that every enterprise uses various type of data structure in one way or the other way. And no doubt data structures are very important in terms of job interviews as well. So we are going to start with arrays today. So what is an array? It is a container which can hold a fixed number of items. So the first thing to notice is fixed number of items plus the item should be of same data type plus same data type. So there are two main element, two main uh, terms in arrays. Number one is elements and two is indexing. So I would like to explain it with an example. If there is a person who is having four cars or five cars, so instead of creating five variables to define the five cars, we can just create an array of string type and define the array as cars and the size of the array as five. So here, uh, uh, I would like to mention that string is a data type in programming, uh, which is composed of our set of characters. So here my Volvo is a string type. So if, uh, what is indexing? If I have cars zero, zero is my index, and it refers to the first element in the array. Okay, moving on to the basic operations in array. I'll start with the insertion into an array, followed by traversal. Then we will do the search operation. Then uh, we'll update one element in the array. And at the end, we will delete one item and check if it works fine. So moving on to hands-on. Here I'm using uh, an online C++ compiler and I have just drafted the operations that we are going to perform now. So I'm going for, to do shopping for four items. So here I'm going to declare an array which holds a price of the four items. So the data type I'm using is int, the name of the array as item price, and the size as four. I'm going to declare one more variable which I will be using for traversal insertion or going or accessing the elements of the array. So the first operation is insertion. Okay. Inserting the price for the items. Andel is moving to the new line in C++. So indexing start from zero and should be less than the size of the array, which is four. So you have to just write the name of the array and I, which represent the index. After that, let's do a traversal and publish the price of the four items. The enter price of the four items. Again, we have to traverse through the array using a variable. So I am going to use i starting from the zeroth index till the end of the array and just output the price. The price of item at, so indexing is starting from zero. So I'm going to write I plus one for my first position. So just write the name of the array and the index. Now let's run and check if we are good till here. 
inserting the price for the items. The price of item one, two, okay. We are, let me put handle to make it more readable. Okay, we are good till here. Now what we want to do, we want to perform a search operation to check if any item has a price 22. So I'm going to use one variable and while loop, let's think size of the array. Now, if item price J is equal to 22, then I'll just put a break statement. I want to come out of the loop. We have found the item which is having the price 22. Otherwise, we'll keep on incrementing and keep on checking the rest of the array. Then I'm going to print the item having price 22 is found at position J plus one. Now, and then moving on to the next line. So the next operation is updating the item four. So to update the item four will be the indexing zero. So just X is the array element of index three. Sorry, so item four is my index three and just assigning the value as 100. After that, let's print to check if we are able to update the price. The updated price of fourth item is, I think till here you'll be comfortable in understanding how to insert, how to access an item in an array and how to update right uh, so after that i have just printed the updated value then the next operation is deleting the price of item three so item three remains index two so how i'm going to do it i'm going to use a for loop starting from index two and then I should be left in the size of the array, I plus plus. So here, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to assign every array element post item three to the previous one. That is item price I is equal to item price I plus one. So we are starting from two, right? So my item two will get the value for three. Three will get the value for four. So, and, and the, yeah, uh, we, we, the current size of the array would be four minus one because we have deleted one item. So let's print the array post deletion to check if we are good with the deletion operation. So just traverse the array. It will be three now. And just print the items. The item price at position i plus one is just access the item price and the index. Let's write one more statement here. CL, the array post deletion. Let's run the entire program. Inserting the price for the items 22, 34, 56. The entered price of the four items are as follows. We are good. Then the item having price 22 is found at position two. Yes, we can see at position two, we have an array item of 22. Then the updated price of fourth item is 100. The array 
post deletion so we wanted to delete the first item okay let me put a space over here for more visibility and let's run it again okay 234 45 we are good with travel so we got the price 22 at position 2 we updated the price of fourth item to 100 then we wanted to delete the third item so post deletion i can see 1122 is untouched we are good and the 45 uh, have been pushed before right so but yeah we updated the price of fourth item to 100 so i can see it as 100 hope you are comfortable in understanding this array concept if you feel uh, or if you feel like you want to go through more operations related to arrays or more problem solving please do mention in the comment section hope you like the video please subscribe the channel thank you and have a good time